Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. I'm out here at Copart Yard, nice, beautiful, crisp morning. Hope it's gonna warm up soon, but hey, let's not waste any time and check out our first vehicle. We do wanna buy it, it is playing today, and the clock is ticking. First one on the list is this 2022 Chevy Colorado. You can see it's leaning pretty bad because that side is definitely damaged. But let's check it out. This side so far looks pretty good. Beautiful truck, almost brand new. Nice little four x four Colorado, some nice little wheels, got a hitch on there, which surprisingly not all trucks have. So that's definitely nice. So here's the damage on this side right here. That wheel is just hanging around. I'm sure if they lift it up, it'll just be dangling. Man, it'd be nice to get underneath. Check out the little light bar right there they have. Surprisingly not too bad from right here. Just impacting the fender, bumper, headlight. Man, it'd be rough to look underneath, but that's why I'm here. Let's try to get in there and see what it looks like. It looks like lower control arm ball joint popped out, axle popped out. But we're looking at those ears right there. That's where it bolts up to. That looks really good on this side. Can't really tell on the other side, but hey, that brake line's still hanging around. Strut looks good, upper control looks good. This side looks nice, not bad at all. Let's see if we can look on the other side. That looks pretty good from here. So our spindle broke off, our rim is busted for sure. But not bad. Quick knee assembly, a couple parts. Back in the road in no time. Pretty cool little keypad. I think that's aftermarket. I've never really seen that in a Colorado before. Wow, she is hairy. Somebody had a dog. 25,000 miles on it. Interior is pretty good, all things considering. But man, what is that? That's probably the light bar right there. A little hairy, but other than that, not too bad. Let's see if it starts. Yeah. We got power, 25,000 miles on it, not bad at all. Oh yeah, that sounds very healthy. Low air in the front right side, which makes sense. But look at that guy, started right up, no check engine light, just the tire pressure. Definitely gonna play it, needs a good cleaning. And a couple good parts, but not bad. See how much it goes for and hopefully pick it up. Moving right along, guys. It is Colorado day today. Hey, that's just what's playing. That's what we're excited about. So you just check out what's going on. This is a 2019 Chevy Colorado Z71. So kind of a similar story, except for the driver's side this time. Got our headlight. Bumper's not actually that bad. Fender's definitely damaged on that side. Check out what's going on here. A little easier with no wheel in the way. But yeah, not too bad. Two wheel drive. Surprising for a Z71. Maybe the other way around. A little bit right there. The firewall. Definitely got damaged, but doesn't look too bad. Ah, I'm just kidding, guys. I couldn't see behind the strap. There it is. There's a the four wheel drive part that we need. So it is a four wheel drive. And that looks pretty good, too. So another good one. I definitely want to play it. Because sometimes that's all ripped off underneath and you can't really tell you check it out this one does have a dash airbag exploded and a wheel bag blown the other one did not so that's definitely hard to curtain looks like all the airbags but it is leather little phone charger definitely a nicer package with the heated seats remote star all that fun stuff doesn't look like any power didn't see the lights turn on overall not bad Honestly, I want them both, but if I had to choose between the two, I'd probably go for the first one, the 2022 Colorado, the gray one, instead of the black one, because airbags blown, and I don't know. That one just looks less miles, probably. I started it. Probably still play this one, too. But a lot more unknowns and more damage, for sure. All right, guys, just taking a quicker, deeper look. It looks like the frame or the cab is bent a little bit in this black one. So, I might pass or if it goes really cheap. 
but that looks kind of bad. So it's hard to tell, but I think the frame is bent on this one. It looks fine from up top, but on the bottom, the exhaust is actually touching the frame, so hit a little harder. I guess it ripped off that wheel. <laughs> so a little more damage than I want. Pass. That's fine. Plenty of trucks out there for sale. So I would do the leg work. Check them out. Let's keep going. Look at all these cars for sale. All right, guys, here's our next one. Check out this Toyota 4Runner. Oh yeah, not even bad. But let's keep looking deeper and see if we can find some issues. So we got ourselves a 2015 Toyota 4Runner. Obviously front end damage. So far looking good, a little dusty, but it's not a problem. A little impact right there, but it didn't seem like it got too deep. So let's check out the radiators. Radiator. And it looks like it's busted. I don't see any fluid in there. Definitely passed the low. So either a hose got popped or that radiator got popped. Definitely needs probably AC condenser, fans, radiators, grill from bumper. It's got 150,000 miles on it, mirror. But surprisingly, it'll still go for a lot. These things are high dollar. All right, we got some power. Let's see what it sounds like. Won't let it run for long though. Ah, oh, man. So close, it was about to start, but it didn't. Not too worried about it. I mean, it's a Toyota. Pretty good. But was not able to start it. Got some good tires on it. I like the white, keeps it clean, surprisingly. It looks good, other than front end damage. You know, airbags deployed, I would say honestly, a minor damage, but probably still need a good bit of parts up front. Power seats, leather, interior looks nice. A little sunroof. This is a nice one. Pretty cool. Looking underneath, it's looking pretty good. Right there, you can kind of tell, got hit a little bit. Overall, it's not bad. Definitely play it, see what it goes for, if it's worth our while. Walking down the yard, looking for a Chevy Silverado. Ooh, there we go. I think I found it. The 2021 Chevy Silverado Z71. Some nice fuel rims right there. Man, this side is looking great. Just kind of leaning a little too much to the left side. So let's check out the damage. You got the wheel popped on that side, and you got a wheel missing on this side. Very similar to the other damage that we've seen, but hey, we have an alignment machine. We've done a lot of suspension work. This is kind of our go-to that we know we're familiar with. It's a lot easier with a forklift. All right, let's check it out, see if it's worth repairing. Right away, you can tell that's an aftermarket upper control arm, which is good and bad. Kind of bad because they're hard to find and match the other side. It makes it a little trickier to repair just more time sometimes you got to buy the whole set they don't sell them individually it's kind of rough this side looks good but this side looks like it is bent a little bit you can see those ears uh, axle not so good it's kind of rough when they pop out that much because a lot of dirt and debris gets inside of there so that's bad but looks like knee assembly i mean it's still there frame looks okay not too bad over there. Overall, not horrible. It's definitely repairable, but it's gonna take some time. Definitely a beautiful truck. I love the color, the style, everything. The headlights, the design, the running boards, love the bed cover. Pretty sweet. You got some little lights after marking to that bumper, dual exhaust. Cool. 
RST. Don't even know what that means. Some kind of package, I guess. Cool. Let's check inside if we can. Hey, the door still opens. Oh, wow. Brown interior. Did not see that coming. Pretty cool. Unfortunately, don't see any power. And that seat is pushed forward all the way. Man, that just popped the hood, I guess. But interior is pretty nice. No airbags blown that I could see of. Surprisingly. Definitely a nice one. So checking out the engine, it's pretty cool how they put the little washer tank right there, right by the fender. And it looks like we still have fluid in there, so it didn't hit it that bad. So that tells me my frame rail's good right here. Still radiator's good, you can see fluid. That's nice. I'm sure the engine's fine. Some just good old suspension work. Front end damage a little bit. Look at that, it locks into place. Still got that good sound. I wanna play it, this thing's pretty sweet. Hey, 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 not a Chevy. We've got ourselves a good old fashioned Ford F-150. Front end damage right there. And some suspension damage. This is the stuff that we go for. Okay, let's check it out. This wheel is just hanging around, a lot of X's. So Copart will go around or the insurance company will go and just kind of mark everything that's damaged. So this side doesn't look horrible. Definitely upper control arms messed up. I and mean, the strut needs a knee assembly for sure. But the frame, that's what we're looking at. Because that's where it gets a little tricky. Not too bad, honestly. A little control arms nice on this side. Hard to see on the other side, but that looks pretty good too. So it needs a knee assembly. All of this will just be replaced, but it's bolt on, bolt off. Not horrible. From bumpers damage. Let's see how deep that goes. Not too bad, but there is a lot of pieces right here in the front. It could get really expensive really fast with those shutters and turbo pipes and everything. Getting down in it, so you could see right there that this is looking pretty good. That's how you adjust it. They actually just slide back and forth and you hope you lock it down good enough. But these plates look good. The intercoolers look nice. Shutter looks good. It's not bad. Not bad at all, honestly pretty nice i'm happy with it so far so far so good with this f-150 i'm liking it just going around there's the bumper which is nice because you still get you know the fog lights the brackets you can still salvage a lot of pieces even this valiance piece is like 200 dollars. might be good might be bad but hey you can take what you get you know and do the best with what you have let's check out the inside Not bad, door's opening. Definitely gotta open those slowly. Glass is broken right there. Okay, that's fine. Got some cloth seats, no sunroof, kind of basic, but hey, 62K on there. Not bad, and we got power. Let's pop the hood. Check it out. I would say very clean. Not bad at all. Battery is dead though. That thing was barely turning over, which makes sense. But it sounded healthy spinning over. Not bad. Very clean inside. No airbags blown. I'm happy. So you can see daylight from the other side. That's okay. So far so good. It's missing the cover and it looks kind of exposed. Battery looks a little popped out of place, probably shifted. We're all not bad. Just all these piping and the intercooler. I definitely like the 5.0 better. But hey, these are still good engines. Not too bad on this side. Cracked a little bit, but yeah, it's not bad at all. Last one on my list is this 2015 Ford F-150. A lot of parts have been taken off, as you can tell. We got front end damage, we got side damage. Man, it's all patched up. Let's check it out. So it looks like a lot of stuff was bolted off, but not too bad. Looks like it'll bolt back on there. No suspension damage, but it's more of the doors. It's all taped up to preserve it, which is nice. Looks like they started working on it. Already started cutting the skin right there and right there. 89,000 miles on it. Looks like we got a lot of parts inside. 
that doesn't look too bad. A little scuff right there. And shift it over, or that just because it's missing a cap corner. We'll see. Lots of parts all taped up. I don't know if I want to untape it, but let's see. I get in there. So it looks like it is damaged. I can see some scuffs and stuff. So it's not new doors. So those are the old doors, old parts just taken off and put inside. Some some parts will be good on it, but definitely still need new parts. Let's see if we can look inside. So we got the grill, headlight, door panels, big mess. Somebody's definitely been going at it. And the speakers, they took everything apart. Was that really necessary? I don't know, but hey, it is what it is. It still goes cheap enough, it'll still be worth it, but you have to figure out their mess first, figure out the puzzle, what's going on. I mean, all the way to the center council, these seats aren't bolted in. It doesn't look too bad in here. It looks like the airbags didn't deploy, nothing like that. Honestly, pretty nice. It's kind of surprising. Hmm. Tough, tough call. It all depends on what it goes for on. So definitely watch it. I'm not scared of it yet, but that is a pain. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it was that bad in the front, but they were just taking it apart to see deeper. Probably had some side damage and maybe a couple scuffs here and there and took it all apart and salvaged it out. So that's kind of the story with the bad parts. Definitely have to calculate how much it's worth. It's all happening right now and it plays literally like 10, 15 minutes. All right, guys, so I just won that F-150 with the parts everywhere. I wasn't too excited about it. I was like, man, just one click. Let's see what happens. And I ended up winning it. Oh, boy. <laughs> Didn't really want it, but I got it. All right, guys, back at the shop in the Colorado is playing right now getting in the game for 9.6. I mean, honestly, it wasn't bad at all. No frame damage, no airbags deployed. It's gonna go for a lot. Where's this even from? I don't even know. It is a 22, it 22. is 4x4, four four. it is V6. Airbags are good, right? Airbags are good. Started right up. I mean, no lights in the dash. Really nice. That's so, not bad. That's not bad. Maybe, as long as somebody is, yeah. Come on, new buyer. Who's the new buyer from? I don't even know where that's from. It's weird. Out of the country somewhere, I'm not even sure. 10.3, I'm still happy with it. Oh, wow, right at the end. So this is a pure sale. I did win the other truck already, the mystery box, but I would way rather have this. 22, come on, let it go, let it go. And, oh, wow. Right One more, end, keep going. Right at the end. He's just messing with me. He's just like, oh, you think you got a good deal? Click. I still think that's nice, I mean. Was the axle good? Axle was hanging axle? out, but it, it, was, it was right there. So uh, bonus time, 10 I mean, It was right there. So this is the reason I got up in the morning, went out there to the yard. I really want this one. It's my favorite out of all the ones I checked out. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, Florida's in the game. What in the world? Get out of here, Florida. Man, it's getting up there. Pure sale though. So if this is it, if it goes through, we got it. And wow, Florida again. I'm just, I just want it now. It's like, man. You don't care about the price anymore? You we, just want we it? We do. We have to care about the price, guys. You can't get emotionally attached to these things. You know, if they want it more than you do, but looks like you got ourselves a good deal. I'm happy. So probably 12 after fees kind of thing, but hopefully knee assembly, little thing here in the front. Can we drive it home? No, definitely can't drive it home. Not this one. Was it a run and drive? It, I think so. Surprisingly, <laughs> but I don't recommend driving this one home. Definitely three out of four wheels are there, but. Okay, so we still got what? Another one playing or no? I think we do. Yeah, the F-150 is still playing. The other one play the Colorado. Here's the price. But yeah, basically had frame damage, so I'm not really in. And then the Silverado, it was kind of hit a little harder too. Not too bad, but aftermarket suspension, I'm kind of like, it's hard to match up perfectly. So unless you replace all the suspension, which is possible. Definitely doable, just more time and money. So we'll see how much it goes for. Still got plenty of time for this other F-150 right here. I really liked it. A little bit of bumper damage, not too bad. And then scrolling down is the Forerunner, another 38 minutes, and the 2021 Chevy Silverado with the aftermarket parts, 23 minutes. So still got a bit of time for it, but a little camera magic, it'll pass right by. All right, guys, there's that Silverado playing right now, but honestly, it's a little high for me anyway. Being that aftermarket suspension, really not a bad truck at all, but 
I already bought the other two, so I'm kind of like, eh, we'll see, because I still have my other ones playing too, so out of my budget for today, you got to know what you have, so we'll see how much it goes for, 14.6, still not bad, but it's all good, Texas could have it, let's see, 14.7, somebody else is bidding it up, then four minutes, the F-150 is playing as well, which I really like, and it's going for a lot less, so count the cost, wow, it's going up, going up, 14.9, let's see what they go for. 15,000, 15, one. Wow, they're going at it, which makes sense. It's a really nice truck. Really wasn't that bad at all. Four by four. But that one did completely get out. So 15, one. They got it. Congrats, Texas. Moving on. All right, guys. 2019 Ford F-150's playing. This is one with a little bumper damage and some suspension. So we do. You know, that's that's nice. So it just depends how much it goes for. But so far, we're in the budget. So. Are we? Yeah, that's, that's not But bad. you already bought two cars. I did. And that was a mystery box, too, the other one. So kind of like a little nervous, but it's all good. Here we go. Let's get in the game. 7,000. 7,100. Winning. I mean, it's on reserve, so what we looked it up, roughly, what, 10K? They want $10,000. So if we get less than that, all right, we got to calm down. Pretend like we're not interested. Damn. Left Florida and Texas bid it out. Jeez. This monster bid it like 10K. No. 83 already? 83. Let's just get in there. 85, let me know South Carolina's here to play. Yeah, that's, 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 uh, fighting. So. We're fighting, we're fighting. 9,000, right? 9,000, 9,200. It's getting close to that reserve. It's gonna be a pure sale. I mean, this is a clean title though. So that's pretty nice, honestly. Well, it got salvage history though. It does, so it's still gonna show that it's got an accident, damage history, but. This is you, sir. Let's go. 99. 99. Ah, oh, they can have it. It should have sure. been a pure sale already. Yeah, it should have been a pure sale. That's what they want. 10 1. Ooh. 10 4. I don't know. Yeah, it's a lot of money for the 150. It was nice, but. They don't sell the fastest either. It's not a 5 0, it's just a 2 7 rear wheel drive. <laughs> they can have it, Michael. They can have it. What's one more click? No. It's Let's, Florida, let's go to bonus Florida. time. Wow, no. wow. Somebody else from South Carolina is getting the game. Sheesh. Yeah, all right. I'm out. That's. I mean, with 11, fees, you're looking 12. at 12. With work, and we got enough stuff to work on. We do. We have a lot of projects. I already got two, so. It's already been a good day. Um, 11,000. I'm just really curious how much this thing's going to go for. Wow, that's pretty crazy. I really want that clean title car. Can't win them all. Wow, this thing is just going and going. That's 11, crazy. I thought that 10 grand was like already kind of high, but. Not stop. Keep going. Yep. 12, 1. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <Somebody crazy. laughs> Let's see what happens to Florida and Pure Sale. Got it. 12, 7. So I think it's kind of high, but hey, still a good deal for a clean title. It's just, I don't know. You know, we don't want it. Let's wait on to the next one. All right, guys. So we're four winners playing right now. Pretty clean. Radiator was busted, but let's get in the game. And we're out of the game, just like that. So we come, we go. New buyer, what is all this new buyer stuff? Know, Guatemala, dang, this all got out of the country. Sheesh. It's still not bad, I think it's still pretty good. These are definitely worth a lot. Let's go, 7979, seven, nine. let it go. Oh, wow. Man, I really thought we had it there, you know, that's pretty crazy. I think it's Russia, look at the flag. I don't know. New buyer, maybe. Don't they have enough going on? Here we go, 8-1. We there, we go. there we go. There we go. Local yard. Happy yeah. about it. Woo so three for today. It's a good day. All right, guys. So went out there and looked at some vehicles and we bought three. So definitely happy about it. But unfortunately, that's all the time for this episode. But like I said, if you want to become a member, it's really simple. Just go on there, Nico20, click on the link down below, save some money, be able to check them out, get some great deals. So like I said, hopefully we'll pick these up. If you want to see us rebuild them, leave some comments down below. Hopefully we'll rebuild it. If not, that's fine. We'll move on in life. But thanks for all the support, guys. Catch you next time.